Suppose we have two functions f and g, and suppose that the function g is from the set x to the set u, and the function g will assign to the input x from the set x one and only one element u from the set u. Now, Suppose function f is the function from the set u to the set y. And this is the function that will assign to the element u the element y. If you look at this diagram, you can see that the u is g of x and the y is equal f of u. Since u is equal g of x, then we can write that f of u is f of g of x. Therefore, we can consider a new function, the function that um, has as the domain the set x and the set of the outputs will be contained in the set y in such a way that to the element x of the set x we assign one and only one element of y such that y is equal f of g of x. That new function that we form by omitting the middle set u is called the composition of two functions and denoted f circle g. So the definition is that f circle g, a new function formed by using functions f and g at the input x, is the value of function f at g of x. This is the definition of the function. Now, if we are um, talking about a new function, we have to define the domain. So if we look at the diagram displayed uh, at the beginning that defines the function f circle g, then we can notice that if I want to have such a function, then we have to assume that the x is in the domain of g, so u will be uh, uh, well defined, so x is in the domain of G. That will guarantee existence of U. But now the function F has to take the value of U and assign to that the value of Y. So that means that the um, G of X, which is U, must be in the domain of the function F.